what's happening guys, first game of the season and it's finally come, it's been a long old summer, I'll tell you why, right? I've worked my ass off because of my holiday and stuff like that, and um, I, this is the one thing that it's all been building up to, you know, the first game of the new season, there's a, a lot of promise about us, um, we ended up finishing the season on a bit of a high, and um, we've kept the, the majority of our better players, you know, our better performance from last year, um, we haven't lost anybody to any bigger clubs, and then um, we brought in some, some cracking looking new signings, I mean obviously we haven't seen them play in a competitive game yet, but um, oh, obviously we're going to see them today. Um, personally, I think Klokowski looks um, pretty tasty. Pardon me, the beer's repeating on me already. I've already had a couple of pints, um, just getting me in the mood and stuff like that, you know. Um, I think Klokowski's looking pretty tasty. I think Byrne look, looks a decent midfielder as well. I think the defence is just going to be great. I mean, Kevin Feely, we all know, um, he's learned a lot of Darcy Blake. You've just seen how much he improved playing next to him and um, obviously Darren Jones as well um, Joe Parker I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing I mean Rennie Hayes playing well in the pre-season Zabrowski's looking good in pre-season it's all looking good you know the new training HQ um, I've actually spoken to Jimmy and Justin and um, they're saying that um, pre-season is going really really well so you know I'm, I'm, I'm really upbeat about this I'm, I'm really feeling like uh, we can uh, crack on and uh, you know, we made a good account of ourselves this year. I mean, we made a great account of ourselves last year, but um, the wind got taken out of our, out of our sails um, because of the um, the problems with the pitch. But the good thing about it now is the work's been done, the pitch has been relayed, and now I just can't see any reason why we can't go and have a good season now. I mean, obviously, priority is staying in the league as it, as it was last year. I think for anybody who's in League Two, the priority is to stay in the league. Some people will feel they're capable of uh, keeping to the top half, you know, the, the, well, the top end of the table. But I thought Northampton would have kept the top half of the table. They nearly went down. I thought Wickham would have been a better team than what they were. They, they very, very nearly went down. I thought Rovers would be better, and they went down, you know. This division is possibly the most open division in English football, and it's going to be a tough one, but if we play the way we can with the players that we've got, then um, you know I have absolutely no doubt whatsoever that we can have a successful season. I mean, promotion would be lovely. It'd be absolutely fantastic, of course it would, but it's not the thing on everybody's mind right now. I think the thing on everyone's mind, stay in the division first and foremost, and if we have a good season, great. We look forward to another great football league season next year then, you know. That's basically what it is. But right? non-league now, the last thing we want is to go back. But it's the first day of the season. I'm not, talk, I'm not thinking of relegation, promotion, or where we're going to finish. That's all just... You know, rejoice for the fact that football's back and um, enjoy ourselves you know which is basically one of the good things you can do with the county is just kick back enjoy the game and have a good drink with your boys like you know that's exactly how I do it so I'll be uh, bothering some people later for some predictions and what their thoughts are and excitement are with the new season and uh, no doubt I'll be boring the ass off you later with my uh, post-match um, post-match review so cheers guys looking forward to a good game hey guys it's 45 minutes before kick off the pub is absolutely rammed everybody's buzzing for this I've got a good feeling about today what do you think Liam this is Liam Hennessy of the County Choir what's your prediction of the game give me the best yeah best what's prediction prediction for the score mate 2-1 County 2-1 County it's going to be a close affair is it but we're going to edge it yeah we're going to edge up all the way Fantastic, thank you very much Liam. Let's bring it over. Katie Choir's own Rodri Herbert. Rodri, what do you reckon then mate? Do you think we're going to do well today or what? Yeah, 2-0. 2-0? 2-0. Any goal scorers in mind? Zeb twice. Zeb twice, yeah. Zeb, he's a beast, isn't he? What about you Sam? 2-0 Katie. 2-0 Katie. Connor and Rosky. Uh, fair play, fair play. Let's get our drummer boy in on this. Fat Rob. Let's give him a tap. Bring yourself forward, Kenny Drummer. What do you reckon then, mate? Score today. 3 1. 3 1. Goal scorers? O'Connor. Yeah. I'm going to go with Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sandel. Sandel. Ah, captain. A captain's goal today to seal the game off, reckon. Happy days. I mean, that's the drummer. He's going to be beating the drum with all of his might later on. As you can see, we've got plenty of us in today. And I think it's going to be a good affair. It could well be 
the stats, they've been great this year. I mean, look at their sides, their focus, yeah, look at all those people. I know, it's the old Bill. It's the old Bill. They're coming inside. Let's just wait for them. Well, there's Colin and me. They're all coming in now. Where's the old Bill? Anyway, for me personally, I'm thinking it's going to be a 2-0 win, and um, yeah, I feel like Zeb's going to get on the score sheet, possibly O'Connor, but there's so many possibilities today, how are we going to start, how are we going to finish, how are we going to get on, we don't know, but there's a lot of confidence amongst us, let's just hope that that confidence becomes results, basically. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the game. We've been in good voice at the moment, to be fair. Our drummer has actually got blisters. I see the blister. I got a free kick from a deep series. Keep it rolling. Oh, the the war wound, the war wound. Have a look. Let's have a look at your thumb. Can you see the blister? The blister's there. He's building a blister, but he's playing on. Jeez. Jeez. Waiting outside. I'm actually in Betis. Um, this is my uh, native estate. This is Everton, my big lad. An oh. handsome motherfucker, what he is. Oh. Basically, um, uh, we, we've, uh, we, we've nipped back the mine for a bit of scran and uh, a couple of cheap cans because um, it's going to be a long night, so we need to make our money last us as long as we can. It's a long night of uh, draining our sorrows. Um, being as we had. Um, I gotta put it. So sorry, hopes of the day. Really? What do you reckon? Today was a bit of a blow, but I'm yeah. sure we'll bounce back from it on yeah. Tuesday night when we have Reading. I'm hoping yeah. we can get a good result there. Fantastic. And hopefully it's all up from there. Yeah, hopefully it is all up from there. Uh, hopefully, um, no. Basically, learn from our mistakes of today. The tactics weren't right. Um, players will play that position. Um, maybe not the right starting lineup. Uh, maybe the wrong strategy moving forward because uh, we weren't creating clear-cut chances and the chances we were getting, we weren't really getting close to taking. Um, no, I mean, I'd rather be getting this kind of crap out of the way with now rather than late in the season when it really matters. Like, you know, if you can learn from mistakes in the beginning, you can climb up. Yeah. Like, uh, like Accrington last year. Get the shit out of the start. And yeah, then that's right. The last thing we want is to be in a relegation battle. Which I don't think is going to happen because um, you know the, the quality at our club is, is too much. But I mean, saying it, it's raining, right? Uh, we're stood under a tree. There's drips falling on the screen. Only little ones, not big ones. It is raining, right? And um, to be honest with you, it's a bit, it's a bit dump. It's it a bit of a dump <laughs> mood. Oh, there's a frigging limo over there. I'm sure I can spin that rain so you can see it. Wait there. Look at that bad boy. That was a better size score. Yeah, it's quite cringy limos now. They were a nice novelty about 10 years ago, but now anybody uses a limo and they go screaming out because they think there's something. I think they're fucking wankers, like, you know. But, um, you know, that's a different rant for a different day. Um, today's rant is uh, the, the Kane performance. 
Although, the thing is, the point I wanted to make, after the game, the first thing I thought of was, um, they took the only two chances they got, and I'd say a good 8% of the game was played in their half. I suppose there's a bit of positive to take from that, or a potential we can do better than this to take from that. But um, anyway, guys, I'm not being funny, but our best is going to be here soon. Yeah, I'm doing best as night, because, you know, it's all about keeping the money so we can spend it on, you know, the stuff that's going to make us feel better in about the next half hour or so. So, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll probably see you guys with my, um, my sober roundup in the morning, which I'll probably be hung over the fuck. <laughs> and, um, Rob, we'll um, see you at the next county game when he's back. I'll see you at the next county game. I will probably be slaughtered tonight, but look on the bright side. It's a bad start to the bad for a game. But let's hope we can just rise above it and let's get cracking on and hopefully we can get a good start. Yeah. Let's go. Couldn't That's fault it. the drumming. The best performance of the day was the drummer for me. You know? I mean, if you want a man in the match, it's going to be the Kenty drummer. And you're going to see our pop up. Um, well, you probably would have already seen the pop up. I am going to put Kenty drummer. I'm going to make sure this motherfucker here reminds me to do it. The man in the match, the drummer. <laughs> That's how it's going to be. Right. Cheers, guys. Oh, and by the way. Um, Riverside Tavern, support, support the new game that we got. One pound a ticket, take your pick. Des O'Connor's take your pick, that sort of thing. Um, basically, your raffle ticket comes out, you get a choose from a box. Today, someone actually won a metre of uh, carpet gripper and free underlay. Donated by the lovely Rob Santos and his um, world um, of carpets. My, my stepfather, by the way, I just have a file that in order, doesn't it? Oh, whatever he just said. Um, yeah, Rob Santos, you are a legend in the carpet world. Although I, I will add that I'm pretty good around the carpet myself, like. But um, <laughs> anyway, <He's a> red <laughs> I'm a bloke, so I thought I'm not going to be offended by that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, nice one, guys, and um, I'll see you when I'm sober. Well, then, guys, it's now Monday evening. Um, I was severely hungover yesterday, um, obviously I drained my sorrows as you probably saw the video which I haven't got a clue, I cannot remember what I've said in that, so um, apologies for if the last clip was um, um, pfft, in bad taste or whatever, I was a bit upset because I was hoping for a bit of a better start of the season, I didn't expect to go down 2-0 to Wickham at home to be honest with you. Um, it's quite obvious that they've strengthened, but they still weren't good. It's just we had looked a team who have declined, which is worrying. Um, I don't think it's going to be like that for the whole of the season. I think we have got a lot more in us. I think playing Robbie Wilmot at right back, not per se playing Robbie Wilmot, but playing him at right back was quite easily the, the worst choice, tactical choice made on the day. I... Um, Really is not an awful lot I can really say. I wouldn't have minded getting a couple of interviews off people, but I wasn't going to badger people to talk to me about that disappointing display. Now, I've had people talk after having dis after things being disappointing before, but, you know, I just didn't think I had the heart to go up to anybody and tell say, tell me why you thought of that game, when they were obviously there to drain their sorrows as well as I was, you know. So... That's why there's a, a lack of interviews. Before game, obviously, we were doing the, the match day madness, which didn't quite go according to plan with, with me and my slideshow. Um, I didn't quite do as good a job on it as I, I could have. Um, but we live and learn. Next time it will be better. But um, obviously, the um, the match day madness also comes with the take your pick um, raffle game, which has replaced uh, the small council's uh, football cards. Um Instead of it being two pound a go like it is on the football cards, it's only one pound a go. One raffle ticket gets you into the draw. Now the draw, you win the draw, you win the opportunity to open a box, and they've all got a prize in there. And every week, when one box is opened, that box is then eliminated for the week after. If the jackpot doesn't get one, then it increases every week as well. So next week, what was a £250 jackpot is now going to be a £300 jackpot. And all the other prizes, good prizes are still there. Congratulations, I can't remember your name. Um, he won a, a metre of carpet grip and underlay free donated by Rob Sandris World of Carpets. What a true gentleman he is, Mr. Rob Sandris. Um, yeah. Actually, I find that pretty funny, to be honest with you. You know, 
all this build up. Oh yeah, you could win two hundred and fifty quid, but you win something you never probably never going to use. <laughs> You know, so, yeah. So you you got your shitty prizes. I mean, it wouldn't be fun if there wasn't a couple of crap prizes in there, you know, that's going to cause a good laugh. Um, but there are some good ones there as well. So it's definitely worth getting yourself involved because there's more than one cash prize. There's a £50 cash prize as well, somewhere in amongst there. I don't even know which box opens what. Um, the only person who knows which box opens what is Cully. And um, I'm sure... Regardless of any sort of torture, he's not going to give up the winning boxes. So, you want to have, you, you want to see what's in what box? You got to get in it. Turn up the Riverside Tavern as well, because um, my match day madness next time is going to be a hell of a lot better than the one I had last time. I mean, my blogs are going to be put on there, plus also um, match match highlights and things like that. Obviously, I didn't have that much material to go with for the first game of the season, but you know. As we collect more videos over the season, you're going to get to see a lot more. And um, actually, the next Match Day Madness is going to be three blogs and three sets of um, highlights. So it's going to be a good one. So I'd get down there if I was you guys. Also, to round it up, Reading is tomorrow night. I'm very much looking forward to that trip because we had two great League Cup trips last season. I was lucky enough to be on both of them, and now I'm lucky enough to be on this one as well. Um, if Reading don't play their biggest team... And our team retaliate, or oh, retaliate is not the right word really, is it? Um, redeem themselves somewhat um, from the last game. They're playing for their positions. They're even playing to be at the club by the looks of it, because I know Justin has mentioned something about players moving on. Um, whoever played badly in the last game, obviously I'm not going to mention names. I don't like the single players out unless they've been absolutely terrible or they've done something particularly wrong. Or unless they've done something particularly good. Um, yes, so um, a few of them didn't play as well as they know they can. And uh, they'll know they are. If, you're, if any of them are watching this, you'll know you didn't play well. But the thing is, it doesn't make you a bad player to have one bad game. It's the opening game of the season. And I prefer for things, for, for lessons to be learned at the beginning rather than in the crucial times. And if they don't get learned in time, then we are screwed. Right, so instead of me babbling, bab babbling on and um, going on a bait, you know, a really upsetting game that we saw on the weekend, um, I'm just going to cut it off right there. And also I'm going to mention um, my Football Manager series on the on the Caney Choir YouTube channel. Um, spoiler alert, maybe, but we are now a Premier League team and I'm going to be recording the first episode tonight. So it's going to either be up late tonight or tomorrow morning. I, If I was you, I'd get on it. And the journey there is a great one. I mean, it's six seasons has taken me to get there, six full seasons. And we've had a couple of decent cup runs. And we've obviously had the odd relegation scare. And we've had three promotions. So it's definitely worth giving it a good look. And definitely worth... Um, picking up on the Premier League because um, I've made some pretty decent signings some shrewd ones so get on it guys anyway I love you and leave you now and it's time to start getting myself ready for Reading tomorrow night Oof. already already excited about it I'm sure you guys are as well if you can't make it unlucky if we do get through make sure you make it to the next one we're going to be in the same draw as my United that'd be a good trip Old Trafford anyway I did say I was going to stop my waffle so here it is Cheers, guys. Cheerio for now. And uh, I'll see you next time. Up the candy.